Hey guys, MMO Gamer here, and I know I said I wasn't going to make any new videos or upload anything, but I decided to upload some more videos and not quit this Let's Play video. Uh, I want to shout out to Saragossa, Strum, and Dark Arcane for, uh, mainly Dark Arcane for helping me uh, not quit this Let's Play videos or stop making videos, and an even bigger shout out to Freliok. Um, you're awesome, dude. Thank you so much for the helpful info and tips. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out for any of Freliok's videos, he does great commentary, great let's play videos on Minecraft, World of Warcraft, Forsaken World, etc. Uh, so stay real, Freliok. So we left off where we have to kill some ferocious wolves. So let's go find these ferocious wolves. But first, I am going to pray. And of course, our little magical ball out of nowhere comes up, and we get XP. So here we go. We're going to go kill some wolves. As I said uh, last video, I was going to try and get applied to Fort Rutler or Rotalur. That that's that instance. You have no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, so I will try and get into that today in this one. I might also show Nightmare Carnival, but we will not have time for both. Excuse me. But we also might not have enough time for even FR itself. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm having the hiccups right now. Uh, yeah. And that was a waste of a... of a Soul Force. So we're going to start attacking here. And you see, I thought the Assassin was not a very fun class to play as. But as you can see, I'm starting to uh, like it a lot more. Um, I'm guessing once you get into it, it becomes more fun. I did try several uh, classes that I did not r fully enjoy. The Mage class, I didn't feel it was my favorite. I thought it was okay. I could have stayed with it. I decided not to. Bard, I chose not to. It's just... I'm not going to say it's like too stressful, but I mean, people rely on Bards quite a bit in this game. Like, no joke. And this Ratkind is here. So, thank you, that guy, for pulling that Ratkind. That's awesome. So, if you guys want to friend me, or any of my characters, I am on Lionheart server. It is an amazing server. We have literally zero... We have slim to none gold spammers, which is just awesome. I hate gold spammers, as you guys probably already know. It's literally the worthless thing ever. So we're going to use our little prey here and gain our some of our mana back. A cool thing about this game is that, uh, well, the quests are just so plain out simple. But then again, some quests are just confusing as hell. I'm like, well, let's say that... Here. So this is just saying, I'll just kill some ferocious wolf, click the green thing, and you're here, and you stand here and kill them. Some things are much more complicated. Some things are, like, let's see if I can think of a quest that I've done that was just a total bitch. Um, hmm. I can't recall one right now, but once you're in, like, the Sea of Oblivion or... Lundgren Woodland, which is a level 40 area, and see Oblivion is level 20 and up area, you're gonna hate it. You're not gonna... See, I hate Sea of Oblivion, there's not much to do there, but there are a lot of quests there. Lundgren Woodwind, Woodland, sorry, is much better. I guess I could sell those. Not exactly great pants, but they're good enough. Uh, so let's gotta talk to Morin since we've killed all five, or not all five, all 15. And that is a big demon right there. Arabaz. That's an awesome name. But you see these little blue things sticking out, uh, not sticking out of the ground, but these are floating. These are track stones, and this is how you can travel uh, throughout the area. And, and we just got a queue for Ford Rattler, so let's do this. <laughs> this might be cut off, and if it is, and I'll just put up uh, part 9 and if it cuts off during Fort Rowler then yeah I'll put up 
part 9. Fort Rattler is not exactly hard. It is actually a... Um, it's actually a fairly easy um, instance to run. It's not complicated whatsoever. It's not like listening lowland where you got so many people that are confused about it. And sorry guys, I'm moving around my uh, mic. It, I mean, it's nothing like that. It's fairly simple. It's several. It's. It could be described as an easier TOG Team of Glory or a WC Wraith Castle. Um. So. Uh, that that's that's not good. <laughs> this bard here is saying, "I am not a healer yet, so don't blame me for not healing." Well, you do get a talent, you get you do get a skill point at level twenty, and sh that person should be able to heal now. I'm not sure, but I believe that's how it is. I'm not. I've never played a bard past level two. <laughs> So we're waiting for this priest to uh, spawn, and then we're going to go out. As you can see, Shelly is just following me around. Look at Shelly. So adorable. <laughs> but there's not only those type of pets that we saw when you're in the pet dealer. There's actually a ton of pets. I will sh I would show you, but I do not have the... I, didn't, I haven't done the quest for the encyclopedia yet. But there are quests such as snow puppets, um, and lots of other stuff, and it looks like we're going. So here we go. Gotta buff myself first, and we're ready to go. Well, if it looks like I'm gonna be the one to make the first move, here we go. So if I'm a little bit laggy in this instance, I apologize. This is the first time I've run, uh, bandy cam, uh, in an instance. It looks like it's doing just fine. Um, I'm not laggy uh, at all, so that's good. Always a good sign. Bandicam is by far the best uh, recording system I've found that is free. I did try Fraps, but it Fraps like first off it costs money to have Fraps, and I I don't have money. But and secondly, I had troubles with it. Um, because I used an old uh, Fraps. I had like 2007 Fraps from when my brother played World of Warcraft and had videos of it. Uh, and we want that. Let's stretch that out. Yes, I got that Scroll of Sages. I'll show you how to. I'll show you what that is, either in a, in another video. So yeah, I am a DPS, and I don't know why I am holding aggro of this Storm Pioneer, but. I'm guessing I might be the only one attacking it, which I'm guessing that's the case, yeah, but, I mean, this tank here does not know how to play tank, and I know he's only level 22, but I mean, I could at least hold aggro on my protector when I was level 22. At least I'm getting heals, right? You always want heals. That is number one thing. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, I just figured out why that monster attacked me. Stealth is only effective against players. Monsters can still see you. I wish I had known about that earlier. Might as well go after this guy. So basically what you do is just kill everything down here, and a, spa and a boss spawns up there. There are little mini-bosses on each side, and there's one right there. Yeah, Duo is another one. Uh, so there's basically one on each side and down the middle. So we're gonna go right first, because I want, I want to go right, and this protector wants to go right, so we're going right. So the Assassin class is a very good DPS class. Uh, I mean, it's very fun to play. Uh, it's probably the most fun me the DPS class I've played in a while. Um, I used to play Warhammer Online, which is by far one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and the Marauder in there was a great DPS class, and I see similarities with the Witch Elf and the Assassin. They're basically almost the exact same. <laughs> so, basically, what you're just gonna do, I mean, I've said this several times, but just kill everything in this room, and there's actually a quest they can get here, where I believe this guy turns into a boss, I think. Hold on.